Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue, and this week's video, we're going to make another door, but this one's going to be out of corrugated metal and wood. I don't often work with wood, but let's head to the wood shop and get started. So, I'm going to make a bracket for my router that will allow me to run it alongside the edge of the wood and cut the groove that I want to cut. All right, hold your ears. All right, I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment just to explain this real quick. One, I don't do a lot of woodwork in my shop. And so when I do have to do woodwork in the shop, I need to get a little creative. So on this door, what I wanna do is I wanna create a, a pocket or groove, or I'm sure there's a great wood term for it, where the metal sits in and uh, doesn't move around much. So here's what I've done. I've got my router. And as opposed to having a router table, what I've done is I put the two sideboards on edge, and then I've made this bracket here that will run alongside the wood and then cut the groove that I want. In order to keep it nice and tight, I've clamped this two by three to the boards and then clamped the two by three to the wood. Clamp this together so that shouldn't move because now that's both boards together, gives me a little bit wider cutting or you know surface to like land the, the router on and did the same thing over here. Um, now, believe it or not, I do have a router table. Yeah, that's my router table. I don't often use it, and it makes a great flat space to store a bunch of crap, which it's doing a really good job of right now. Um, but with a router table like that, and, and my skill level, I don't want to run boards of this size down a puny little router table like that. Um, and I had the edges squared at the wood shop where I buy my wood at. So let's go ahead and see if this little contraption is going to work. All right, so I'm gonna add on to this jig that I made earlier. So that I can cut the ends of the board. I guess you'd call that the, uh, the tenon side. Right, and then we'll add, I don't know, we'll see what happens. The nice thing about this particular door is it's going to be a reclaimed look on the wood, so even if, uh, even if I ding it just a little bit, it's okay. It adds character. All right, I'm pretty pleased. Not bad for a hack job as far as like doing what I needed to do with the router to get that mortise and tenon joint done. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. All right, time to rough it up a bit.
Okay, I figured I'd spare you the agony of watching me stain this entire thing. But it all came out pretty nice in my mind. Um, I used an espresso type stain and something like these dark lines and things like this. These are some of the markings that I put into the, the wood myself just to kind of give it some texture and a little bit of uh, flavor, a uh, little bit of that distressed look. So there you go, all stained up. Now I just gotta look over to the metal. All right, so I'm putting the finishing touches on the metal right now. I got them cut to size. I wanted to get a little bit more rust involved and it's kind of doing its thing. Ah, the joys of being colorblind. Well, as you saw, I had this entire thing stained and I showed the client and they were thinking it was gonna have a little bit more red to it. Well, apparently it had a lot more brown in it. And uh, so we have planed off a lot of that brown and we're gonna Take two on the stain. Sometimes you just gotta work a little harder and uh, to perfect the piece so that you keep the client happy. And that's what's important, you're doing this for them. This is gonna be in their home. So even though it does suck that I had to do all that work and then do all this work, I think the end product is going to come out nice. So here's the finished product. I used a red mahogany stain and the client was very happy. And this is before I sent it out. And then this is the door in the client's house. And so actually it fills the space really nice and I'm happy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It really helps out. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.